facing death while doing the right thing. I'm happy to be here and pray for the other family too. That's all we all can do. Hear from the victim of a dangerous train crash and breaking tonight, a shooting at a busy Bartlett shopping center. What police say happened, plus a prosecutor's ethics called into question. He let everybody know it had happened. The surprising thing he's blaming for his error in the Nora Jackson case. Two cars slammed into a train and deputies say a driver in a morning rush is to blame. WMC Action News 5's Justin Jaggers spoke with a victim of that crash who says what happened today is making him believe in a higher power. In an interview you'll see only on Fox. Well, Frost is thankful for all the support he's received from friends and family, but he wants to remind everyone that he's not the only one in need of prayer. I mean, just thankful to be alive. This is the first time in four years that I've believed in God. This is the scene that put Robert Frost out of work for the next two weeks. Deputies say his vehicle was struck when an impatient driver didn't stop and both cars slammed into a train Wednesday morning off of Highway 51 in Fight Road near Millington. He's now suffering whiplash along with multiple cuts and a back fracture. I'm grateful that he's alive from what happened. You know, it could have been, could have been a lot worse. But Frost and his girlfriend aren't just thinking about his recovery. It's, it's two families, not just one family suffering from this. If he never sees it, well, I pray for him, you know. Frost also says no rush is worth risking someone else's life. Well, I mean, laws are set in place for a reason and sticks, them red sticks go out for a reason. Just, I mean, your boss will understand if you're two minutes late from work because you just got stuck at a train. Now, the Shelby County Sheriff's Office says the driver that caused the crash is facing failure to yield charges. Reporting in Millington, Justin Jaggers, WMC Action News 5.